Hi, and welcome to this video on solving absolute value equations. Before we get started, let's review what an absolute value is. The absolute value of a number is the distance that number is away from zero. In other words, you make any number positive. So the absolute value of 27 is equal to 27. But the absolute value of negative 27 is also equal to 27. You make any number inside the absolute value signs positive. When we solve absolute value equations, our process is going to look very similar to solving regular equations. There is, however, one major difference. When solving absolute value equations, we need to consider when the expression inside the absolute value bars is positive and when it's negative. Let's look at a few examples. The absolute value of x multiplied by 4 is equal to 24. So we want to solve this for x. So we're going to start by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. The reason we do this is so that we can isolate our absolute value expression. You always want to isolate your absolute value part first. So when we divide both sides by 4, we'll get the absolute value of x is equal to 6. Then, remember the definition of absolute value. The absolute value of a number is always positive. So x can equal either positive or negative 6. Because if we take the absolute value of positive 6, then we'll get 6. And if we take the absolute value of negative 6, we'll also get positive 6. So the value for x inside the absolute value bars is positive or negative 6. So that's how we solve a simple absolute value equation. Let's try another one. The absolute value of 2x plus 3 is equal to 21. This time we have an expression inside our absolute value bars. So we're going to solve for x in a very similar way. However, we don't have to get the absolute value expression by itself this time because it's already isolated. So we're going to start by getting rid of the absolute value bars. Now the way that we do this is we split our expression inside into two different equations. We want to consider this to be a positive answer and consider this to be a negative answer. Remember last time we had the absolute value of x is equal to 6 and we knew that x was equal to positive or negative 6? x was our expression inside the absolute value bars and we set that equal to positive and negative of the answer. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our expression 2x plus 3 and set it equal to 21 and then we're also going to take the same expression 2x plus 3 and set it equal to negative 21. Remember, we do this because the absolute value symbols make any answer positive. So the inside expression could actually be positive or negative. So now all we have to do is solve both equations for x. And since we have the same expressions on both sides, we'll follow the same steps for both equations. So we're going to start by subtracting 3 on both sides for both equations. This will give us over here 2x is equal to 18. And over here, we'll get 2x is equal to negative 24. Then we'll divide both sides by 2 for both of our equations. So this will give us x is equal to 9 and x is equal to negative 12. If you wanted to solve this equation completely and then move on to this equation, that's totally fine. However you want to solve these two equations is up to you. Just use your normal equation solving techniques. But you're going to have two equations and then get two different answers usually. So our solutions for this equation are x equals 9 and x equals negative 12. We can check our solutions by plugging them back into our original equation. So if you plug in 9 for x and then solve and get 21, then your answer x equals 9 is correct. And if you plug in negative 12 for x and solve and get 21, then x equals negative 12 is also correct. So I'm not going to show you those steps. Just plug in the value for x and check your answer. That's just a way to double check. These answers are correct if you plug them in that way. Let's try another one. The absolute value of 7x minus 14 minus 3 is equal to 25. For this one, our first step needs to be to get the absolute value expression by itself. So we need to get rid of this minus 3 over here. So to do that, we'll add 3 to both sides of the equation. Then we'll have the absolute value of 7x minus 14 is equal to 28. From here, we split our equation into two different ones. 
Remember, we want to set our expression on the left equal to the positive and negative value of the right side. So we'll have 7x minus 14 is equal to 28, and 7x minus 14 is equal to negative 28. So now we're just going to solve both of our equations like we did last time. So I'm going to start by adding 14 to both sides. And for this example, I'm going to completely solve this equation and then move on to this one. So we'll get 7x is equal to 42. And then we divide both sides by 7 and get x equals 6. Then if we move on to our other equation, we'll do the same thing and add 14 to both sides. And we'll get 7x is equal to negative 14. And then we need to divide both sides by 7, just like we did over here, and get x is equal to negative 2. So our answers for this equation is x equals 6 and x equals negative 2. Let's for a second consider one of the problems we might encounter when working with these equations. Take a look at this example. The absolute value of 2x minus 15 plus 3 is equal to negative 25. The first thing we would do in this example is subtract 3 from both sides. So we subtract 3 from both sides and get the absolute value of 2x minus 15 is equal to negative 28. What's wrong with this equation? Well, we know that absolute value signs always make a number positive, so it is not possible to have an absolute value expression equal to a negative number. If you ever encounter this, just know that that means that there are no solutions to the equation. So if you get a negative number on the right side when there's an absolute value expression on the left, this means there are no solutions. Before we go, I want to work through one more example. The absolute value of 3x minus 2 minus 24 is equal to 14. So we're going to solve this just like we have been. Start by adding 24 to both sides. You'll get the absolute value of 3x minus 2 is equal to 38. Now we get rid of our absolute value symbols and split our equation into two different ones. So we'll have 3x minus 2 is equal to 38 and 3x minus 2 is equal to negative 38. Then we're going to solve both equations for x. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides and get 3x is equal to 40 and then divide by 3 on both sides and get that x is equal to 40 over 3. Then on the other side I'm going to do the same thing. I'll add 2 to both sides and get 3x is equal to negative 36 and then divide by 3 on both sides to get x is equal to negative 12. So our answers are x equals 40 over 3 and x equals negative 12. Don't be afraid by this fraction right here. You can just leave it just like this. So your answer is x equals 40 over 3 and that is correct. So the solutions for this equation again are x equals 40 over 3 and x equals negative 12. I hope that this review on solving absolute value equations was helpful. Thanks for watching and happy studying.